hey guys what's up welcome back again to my channel please give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't if you're seeing my face for the very first time consider to hit on the red subscribe button subscribing to my channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that youtube will inform you whenever i post a new video and also follow me on my personal channel where i share videos on motherhood lifestyle and vlogs and everything in between it's an interesting channel and, and you most definitely love it all right guys let me just bring you guys this gist i don't know if it's sad to some people or it's uh, some people are happy or whichever way it is me i'm just here to just bring you guys the army boss straight up no time you guys actually kid wire and erica they actually had a conversation last night like you have seen from the title i don't know if that ship is actually sinking or they are not going anywhere or they are just putting it on hold but for some reason they had a conversation last night and erica was telling kid wire that ah that she's not ready for the emotional drama that is involved with boys at this particular point in time that she will actually love them to step back and become the friend that they used to be and not that thing that they actually did that yes she actually in her words she actually enjoyed the fact that they made out she enjoyed it and not that she's regretting it she enjoyed she really really did enjoy it but she does not have the emotional capacity to deal with drama that comes with boys you know what it means now and um kid where i was like okay but let us still be friend and not the other you know and they did not just complete that statement and i was like okay what are these guys trying to do what are these people trying to what are they up to are they trying to scatter or are they trying to you know see let me just tell you guys um, one thing is for sure if you're friends with somebody you are friends but the minute you cross that line of friendship and you guys go intimate or you guys start saying it is love or, or more the going back will not be easy at all I, in fact then i don't see the possibility of going back but i cannot just wait to watch them today or watch them as as day goes by so that i'll see if truly they actually went back to being just friends because when you cross that bridge of we are just friends and you guys start touching you guys start doing certain things it's i don't i don't see it working anymore as just friends it would just be better you guys remain the friends that you are and not cross that line at all well i don't know what you guys think maybe leave it in the comment section if there's a possibility of being as in crossing the line and still going back to be good friends or best friends like you would say and you still don't end up crossing that line continually i don't want to say much about this their whole issue but actually um kid wire actually went went out and later started speaking with nengi about the whole situation say, telling nengi what actually happened and then nengi was like uh -huh. ah i didn't know you guys were a thing no ah i think it's because of me i know i'm the cause of this and i'm like i am she, she, in her words she said i'm sorry i brought um problems to your home i'm sorry I, I i'm causing problems in your home and i'm like nengi what's wrong with you what are you saying what are you trying to say are you trying to say that erica you did not know that erica and kid why are we a thing or are you as in in fact then why are you even trying to make this whole discussion about you right now because kid why is trying to confide in you as a friend that you are to both kid why and eric erica you get and now you're now asking you're now saying that hey, you didn't know they were a thing you're the cause you're the cause she was just she was making the whole thing just look like it was all about her instead of maybe advising or maybe say because she said she's going to step back that she's she she feels she's the one that has caused the problem she feels she's the issue uh, the, 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 or more you have to just pick a choose at this point don't just start pretending as if because even we that are watching we know that they are a thing not to talk of you guys are in the house and you're saying you didn't know that they were a thing or you were just doing these things intentionally just to spite them because kid why actually said that yeah that she cannot stop being friends with her that day he's an overall sweet guy and he's always flirtatious i'm like kid why and i thought for some reason then if you see the way kid why was talking if you could feel the pain in his voice but you know because i i've heard kid why said that his parents actually taught him not to show emotions he gets and he's just trying to suck it up and you know that ever since erica and kid why got involved they actually erica eric and um, kid why for some reason 
became so calm and cool you get he's, he was he's been so calm and cool for the last two days in the house i don't know if it's because maybe that's how he is when he gets entangled with someone he gets but for some reason I, I feel like that's how he has been so he just be like he's a flirtatious guy and i feel what erica is trying to say i think erica now does not have the right to demand that loyalty from him that respect from him which is if you're with me you cannot be with me and be flirting with other other ladies no matter how flirtatious you are you have to give me some respect but i feel she is not in that position yet to actually demand that respect maybe not here you get so that's just it but my own point is nengi was just trying to make the whole discussion about her you you know they were you even know they were you you you, you can see that they were uh, maybe on like unexplainably close even if you said you don't know that they are a thing and you went to sit down on his dick you guys are just be you have to sit down what, what are you trying to check are you trying to check if it's you know before i go you guys should just leave it in the comment section what you think about this kid why and erica break up blah 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 what they have just done the nengi situation the nengi being put putting herself in the middle saying she's the cost of it and then let's also talk about Watoni and Prince. You get Watoni and Prince had a conversation last night, and Prince was like, Watoni is avoiding him or something like that. And Watoni was like, Yes, that she's trying to remove herself from the triangle of Nengi, um, Tolani Badge, and himself because it's all looking as if she's if there's a they, she's causing problem. Like she made example of the day that she and Watoni um, Tolani Badge were actually having a conversation, and she came there that it actually caused an issue between she and then uh, tulani badge and um, all these housemates and uh, they are just confusionists you get so prince was like she st he still wants the both of them to be friends you get so that was just it for their conversation and then moving on to the to the head of house and his deputy they were just talking and um also was telling dorothy about how nengi caught his uh, slippers maybe this is bedway slippers or something like that and that he's angry about it and um dorothy was asking him are you did you tell her she was like he was like yes i told her and she said she's going to ask biggie for another one and him he was like don't don't bother that dorothy has already asked biggie about it and dorothy was like this guy must you always mention my name when you guys are having a conversation can't you just have a conversation and just remove me from the situation or from the equation why did you even mention my name and then they now went about to talk about um eric that eric has been spending late nights and all that and maybe Doris announced that maybe because he's trying to kill boredom because you know when lilo was here they were always together they were always like you will not see him they go to bed very early in fact if they finish anything they are doing they are on their bed doing what they know how to do best you get but these days he's saying that they he's been spending late nights maybe that's his way of actually trying to deal with the fact that lilo is actually not around anymore you get and then dorothy was now asking him that so how will you react if somebody you're really close to actually leaves the house and he was like um that uh, he the only person that will leave the house that will really, really affect him is dora and i'm like hey this guy why you like this so you're saying if nengi leaves the house you will not feel anything and then you will leave dora now and now go and start doing loving kissing with nengi or trying to be all mushy mushy or as in lovey dovey with nengi and then you're saying it's only dora i don't understand why he's always making it sound behind nengi that dora is the only one that he really cares about but you come here keep begging her keep forcing her keep talking to her trying to make her go into a relationship with you also please pick a side at this point because your your words are always going contrary to your actions when it comes to the aspect of you and nengi anyway that was the conversation they had and that was actually what happened last night and this morning they started their day and i just felt like let me come give you guys the update on what has actually been going on what do you guys think about the erica and the um, kid wire situation kid wire is some sort of too too calm lately and what do you think about nengi saying she doesn't know about that they were thing that she's the cause of it what do you guys think about the whole thing in general watoni and the rest and then this statement from also to dorati what do you think about it let me know in the comment section i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and do not forget to subscribe please subscribe to the channel <laughs> subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever i post a new video and please go check me out on my other channel at vicky m the link is in the description below take care guys i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys